welcome back to another review. So we're doing another gel line eye pencil from Lovecraft Beauty, and this is their silver one in the color Fiercer. So it looks like this. This retails for 13 bucks, just like all their gel pencils do. Swatched on hand, one little line. Ooh. Okay, look at how reflective that is. I cannot wait to see what this actually looks like on as an eyeliner. So we're gonna just go right in. Oh wait, I forgot. Gotta do this thing. It's been a bit since I've done one, so <laughs> you guys haven't seen the difference because I've been pulling from the um, pre-film stuff, but in real life, it has been a bit since I've done one of these, so. Alright, let's go right in. It actually doesn't show up as much as I was thinking it would. I don't think I would trust a metallic sparkly one like this in the waterline to be honest otherwise it would probably be a great waterline like eye brightener but um I don't know like even just like a normal liner on the lower lash line it would probably be kind of cool because even on the upper lash line it looks like it's doing some cool brightening effects like, let's just real carefully pop it up a bit. Just trying to fill it in more. Because you know I like mine thicker. Okay. So if we don't even do a wing... It looks like this, which, like I said, it is definitely eye-brightening, which is surprising that something that simple makes that big of a difference. So, alright, I see the appeal of this one. This is kind of cool. Alright, like, part of me wants to do a wing, part of me just wants to leave it as is. Like, honestly, it looks so cool. I kind of don't want to mess with it. I just want to, like... There we go. Now it's matchy-matchy. All right. That is just so cool, honestly. <laughs> um, all right. Let's do the other side. Being real delicate with this side, because this is the side that had a couple eye infections in the past couple of months, so I'm still being real delicate with it. The skin's still darkened on that side from all of that inflammation, so I'm being really careful not to make it too angry. But because of that darker skin, it shows up more on that side, too. So I guess there's that. Alright. It's very pretty. I like that way more than I thought I would, actually. Let's make it a thicker line, because I think I went thicker on the one side. There. It's kind of like a disco look, actually. That's really cool. <laughs> like, I thought I didn't expect to love that nearly as much as I do, but, like, honestly, like, sleep-deprived? What a cheater way to look more awake, because, honestly, that really works. <laughs> All right. I'm digging that, like, a lot, a lot. Now, whether or not it's going to transfer up into, um the crease it might it might that remains to be seen and i'll check back in later in the day to let you know if it does but i think with a color like this it probably at least on somebody pale like me on, on a darker skin tone it would show up a shit ton but um on somebody with a light skin tone i don't think it would really even show up that bad even if it does transfer but that looks so cool that is so trippy i like that I am digging that so much. I'm going to go throw on some mascara with it and take a thumbnail. So update on the eyeliner situation. Uh, it is pretty much perfectly staying in place as I figured. If anything, there might be like the tiniest bit of just like minor glitter fallout 
like picking up on that upper part of the crease, but that is it. Like there's no pigment moving with it. So I find that intriguing and even like doing exerting stuff, making me sweat, it is stay put. So that's a testament to me that this one is not one you need to worry about. It's it's going to stay in place when you put it down. So I love it. I highly recommend it. I give it a perfect 5 out of 5. I am in love with it. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of a silver liner till I put it on, but I am so pleasantly surprised by how much I'm in love with it. We'll probably buy more of it in the future if I go through all of this one because, yeah, I could see myself falling very in love with this look. <laughs> So, anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit. It's everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.